everybody. It's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am going to warn you right now. I'm having issues with the camera. It keeps shutting off after just a minute or two. Um, so I'm going to do my best to try to keep an eye on that. And I don't know why. It's got a full memory card and full battery. It's just going to be pesky. I am making a silk soap. And hang on, let me tell you what the fragrance is. I have it up on my tablet here. This fragrance is, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, fresh citrus notes with lime, effervescent orange, a blend of berry and cherry with accents of leafy green, vanilla, and yeah. Um, whoops. Hold on, I just spilled all over my tablet. Oh, that's awesome. Let me just wipe it up really fast. Now I just spilled all over the floor. Okay. Well, hopefully that's the only mishap I'm gonna have. You're going to hear a lot of noise in the background. Oh, that is tracing already. I don't even have the fragrance in here. Um, the family's watching a movie. I'm supposed to be too, but I have just this last batch of soap to do tonight. And I was going to wait until after the movie was done and the kids were in bed. And I thought, you know, I just want to do it. and That way I'm not waiting an extra night to cut it because I'm too impatient. But this smells amazing. Um, I want to just stick a straw inside the fragrance bottle and just drink this. Oh my gosh. So that was the fragrance. And this is cream. Get that out of the way and not spill it on the tablet anymore. Good heavens. cold in here. Which is probably why, oh there we go, much better. Probably why I had such a thick trace already. But some fragrances, kind um, of reverse that, which it looks like this one did. want to emulsify that. I almost didn't buy this scent and I'm really glad that I did. I mean I think this is one of my favorites. So I have pink. And a darker purple. I wonder if I want to make that a little lighter. I think I do. Bear with me for a second as I try to open up my titanium dioxide without smelling it all over myself. I'm going to add just a little. Yeah, let me blend that really fast. There's my blender. I think that actually lightened it up much, did it? And we'll go with it. Okay. Get that out of the way. A little more pink. And then in the big batch, I'm going to do gold. So 
sorry if the movie is loud, but for Christmas we got a larger TV and it's a 3D TV. So they all feel like they're in the movie theater right now. Still recording, I don't know. I tried recording just a little bit ago and after about two minutes it turned off and now it's fine. So I have no idea what, what the deal is. I'm just going to blend this up. there. And the pink. So I'm doing Valentine's colors um, because this will be cured February 9th. So time for Valentine's Day. And with priority shipping, it can get, it'll be, it can go anywhere in the country. Uh, no problem. And be there in time for Valentine's. Oh good, that is not too dark. I didn't want it to be too intense. Um, and if you're worried that it's not going to get to you in time, I can ship it out a couple of days early. I don't usually do that on my pre-ordered items. I want them to be fully cured when they leave my hands but um, you know by the time it gets to you it will be the cure date and it's safe to use after four weeks anyway I just like to cure it for six so I think you get a better bar makes it harder and it lasts a little bit longer so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up because of that titanium dioxide. Just wanted to make sure I had the clumps out because I do let it, once I mix, when I mix all my colors, they sit for a while to make sure that they're nice and absorbed. I get every last bit out of there. Okay, let me wipe down the table really fast. this over. Okay. Mold. And I think I'm going to do a drop swirl. Let me make sure I'm recording and you can see me. Whoa, I almost just knocked that right off the table. I can't even begin to tell you how, whoops, how good this smells. I mean, it's just, it's, it's incredible.
trying to avoid having any big plops. Still recording. I don't know. I think I'll save the rest for the top. A little bit more pink. And some more gold. Okay. Oh, I just swirled some purple in there. Yay me. Okay, let me smack this down. I had a big thing of soap just shoot up into my face. Second time that's happened tonight. Hit the goggles. So that's kind of scary. I mean, if I had not been wearing them, it would have got me in the eye. wear my goggles. I have heard too many horror stories from other soapers who have had soap batter get into their eyes and oh it's just scary. And I flattened it on my skin. I did earlier today. I got um, some lye splashed up onto my arm but I was sorry for my reach able to wash it off really fast so it was okay but I've had light burns before and they hurt and I couldn't even imagine getting it in your eye Actually, whenever my kids watch they the rule is, is they have to be wearing goggles um, and they're they stand you know far away there's there's not even a chance for soap to come in contact with them. They're nowhere near me. But it's good practice. We are um, you know, very clear on the dangers of, of doing this if you're not safe. I don't want them getting curious and coming in here and not that they could without us. I do keep my, my office locked, but um, whoops. You know, we want them to have a respect for for this whole thing. And they do get to do some soap. I do um, buy some melt and pour for them. And that is a soap, it's a glycerin soap base for those of you that aren't familiar. Um, some people will tell you it's a lye free soap. That is not true. You cannot have soap with that lye. It's just they have already, the company has already made the soap. And all you do is you melt it down and you can do whatever you want with it. Add color and and stuff. Um, and the kids like that because then they feel like they're really making soap. So they just do little tiny soaps and use them for their hands. But they don't get to do this. The um, only part of the process they help me with is picking out sets and colors and and so forth.
today I did four batches all by myself. Let me... I hate wiping the soap off with the rag because then you don't get to use it. I wipe up the table really fast. So I can smack this down again. Okay. Just gonna lightly swirl this. someone messaged me the other day about glitter. She told me she loves my soaps but she doesn't like glitter. And I thought about that for a long time. I do have a lot of soaps that I don't use glitter on. Um, my purely natural soaps don't use glitter. I don't use glitter. My masculine soaps I don't use glitter. My beer soaps I don't use glitter. But my feminine ones I do. And, um, it's kind of part of my theme. Being stargazer soaps and things being named after things in the, soaps being named after uh, things in the sky. I want them to sparkle. I do just want a light dusting of glitter. And with this container, that is very difficult. But, and if glitter for you is a turnoff, it goes down the drain. It doesn't stick to your skin. Um, it's just purely decorational. It just gives it a little bit of a shimmer on the top. And that's all. Uh, let me get out of the shadow. But there you go. Um, I don't... Okay, last soap of the evening to cut. I just cut my three beer soaps. And this was my fruity one. This one I have decided to name Picture. P-I-C-T-O-R, Pictor. It is um, a small constellation, and Pictor means, oh, painter's easel. Um, it's a small constellation of three faint stars. Well, I used three faint colors in this. But it's best viewed in the Northern Hemisphere in February. So I thought the name was appropriate. There's one sample bar. And the other. Well, I guess it'll be cut into multiple sample pieces. This smells really good. I was sitting in here a little while ago working on paperwork and labels and packaging and getting some orders ready to mail out. And this was sitting behind me and I just really enjoyed. I mean, it just smells really good. It's hard not to want to just drink right out of the bottle. So when I did gold, and I do, there is a shimmer here. I don't know that you can pick that up on the camera, especially in the lighting. When I did the glitter, just real light, which I like. And if you're concerned about glitter, it's not going to stick to you. It's not a um, costume glitter. It just washes away. And I use an ultra fine glitter, so it's really, really light, really fine. And just a light dusting. Because, you know, if you're going to be named after the stars, you got to shine. And last piece. So again, this will be cured February 9th. I will try to have this up for pre-order in the next week or so, but being um, New Year's Eve tomorrow, I may not have time to, to do that in the next couple of days, but 
keep an eye on um, the website, stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching.